Hey folks, so today I wanted to uh, give you an important update in terms of how we are posturing and, uh, and sort of the, the amendment we've made in an, for an important part of the market and that is where we think bond yields could go. And that very much uh, has a big impact in terms of our call on the equity world as well. So I'm gonna just quickly uh, move over to the yield of the 10-year US Treasury note. So that's your 10-year, some people call it a bond, it's actually technically a note, but those are technicalities. And before we look at the more near-term thing, you know, the, the bigger picture remains very much uh, bearish in terms of uh, yields. So we do think ultimately um, that bond yields through the lens of the next number of years could remain low, potentially even go somewhat lower due to demographical reasons. But if we look at the more near term, and let's define near term, when we say near term, in this case, we really mean um, a duration of a few months to potentially half a year plus, plus minus. Let's say, let's call it three to nine months. Is I'm trying to figure out my own sort of parameters, three to nine months. And to the lens of the next three to nine months, what we could see happening um, is that bond yields on a 10 year note, which currently as I'm recording this are uh, just around 90 basis points or so, um, uh, we would imagine that they would be able to, and here are the optics of it, so you can see this, would be able to creep probably north of 1.2% and potentially up to 1.4. The reason why this is important is because it has implications on your favorite technology stocks, which are going to do less good in an interest rate environment that is somewhat has higher, somewhat higher rates. And when I say high, it's always relative, right? Certainly no, not high in, in the long-term perspective, but through the lens of the past <laughs> year or so, it's higher than it's been for at least this year. Um, and, um, and, and, and also what this is going to happen is it's going to bring to the forefront an, a different part of the equity market that should perform better. And that's you know one of the big things that I've mentioned here before, we do think that move into more um, value oriented stocks, you know, reopening trades, the stuff you've, you've probably heard it before, you certainly heard it here before. We do think that trade's gonna continue to work over the next, again, three, five plus potentially months. And so, um, if one were to look at this in a chart, basically I could see bond yields go as high as maybe 1.4% if they want to overshoot, which gets us back to kind of where we were um, in, uh, in, in in July 2016 before we then rallied and then broke below that level. So I think 1.4% is kind of like a fairly uh, big uh, big resistance point. Um, can we overshoot? Of course, can we not quite there? Absolutely, it's not an exact science, but I think somewhere within the vicinity of 1.4% is possible. So if you're looking for a potential trade on all of this um, in terms of price action, um, a very simple way to look at this is through the lens of the uh, ETF, that is the TLT. And um, the TLT ETF, and, and it is important to understand that you know a bond does trade differently from a stock. Um, nevertheless, we can apply basic technical analysis. So I would imagine that any rallies here, if TLT were to get as you know high as 160, maybe 162, I'm not quite sure it has it in it to go that high, but any bounce from here, uh, quite frankly, is probably an opportunity to short TLT. I mean, maybe there's an inverse ETF out there on TLT, which I don't know. Um, one could buy puts or put spreads. You wanna give yourself enough time, so I use puts expiring a few months out. Um, but I think this is a nice trade where you could ultimately see TLT gravitate back down towards about 150. And um, you know, if you don't wanna wait for a further bounce, if you just wanna get into a trade like this and try to put it on for the next three or five months, again, this is not an immediate gratification trade, you know, then I think you, one could already leg into this here. So a uh, big call here on our part, uh, uh, a little bit more than tactically, again, through the lens of the next three to six, nine months, rates go higher. Um, but again, they are limited in the upside. So in other words, TLT, one could short this. Again, this is the inverse, right? TLT is price. T, uh, which is inverse to bond yields. Um, so we think TLT could, could fall towards the 150 area and, um, and, 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 and that would be an opportunity to short that maybe using options uh, uh, to lever that bet a little bit. So hope this is helpful, folks. Give us a thumbs up, like, uh, subscribe, and share the, share the love, spread what we do here. We'll see you soon.